BlackFacts.com presents, Native American Icons, Nene High. Nene High was born into the Cherokee Wolf Clan circa 1738 on the Little Tennessee River. She was the daughter of a Cherokee mother of the Wolf Clan and a Delaware father. In 1755, she stood by her husband during a fight against the Creeks, chewing the lead for bullets in order to provide his ammunition with deadly ridges. When her husband was fatally shot, Nene High grabbed a rifle, rallied her fellow fighters, and entered the battle herself. With her on their side, the Cherokee won the day. These actions led to Nene High being named Ajijiyui which means beloved woman in the Cherokee language, a powerful position whose duties included leading the women's council and sitting on the council of chiefs. As a council of chiefs, Nene High also took part in treaty talks and surprised the male colonists when they were on the other side of the bargaining table. As the years progressed, some Cherokee wanted to fight the Europeans who continued to crowd into their land. But Nene High, who likely realized the Cherokee couldn't win against the numerous and well-supplied colonists, thought the two sides needed to learn to live together. She practiced coexistence herself, marrying an Englishman, Bryant Ward, in the late 1750s, which led to her being known as Nancy Ward. At a 1781 treaty conference, Nene High declared, Our cry is all for peace, let it continue. This peace must last forever. Ward is credited with having secretly warned John Sevier and the Watauga Association of Settlers of an impending attack by Cherokees in July 1776. She later used her prerogative as beloved woman to save a white woman captive from being burned at the stake. In return, her village of Chota was spared destruction by a frontier militia that swept through Cherokee territory. Ward again gave a warning of a Cherokee uprising in 1780 and attempted to prevent retaliation by militia forces. She made a notable plea for mutual friendship at the negotiation of the Treaty of Hopewell in 1785. Seeking peace didn't stop Nene High from recognizing the dangers of ceding Cherokee territory. She urged the tribe to reject the rising pressure by white settlers to sell their remaining lands, but with little success. The sale of tribal lands north of the Hiwassee River in 1819 obliged her to move. In 1817, she made an unsuccessful plea not to give up more land. Nene High opened an inn on the Okoe River in southeastern Tennessee when she died in 1822, she'd spent years trying to help her people acclimate to a changing world. Learn black history, teach black history at blackfacts.com.